Please prepare your intention and I creating this exercise is also known as 40 circles from my parents' gardening journey. And I draw 40 circles using just simple and like this free drawing 44 like kids. Any size, they can be overlapping, they can be standing on, on their own. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, I position them randomly so this stand, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. You may ask why 40, and I had this question. Uh, perhaps it's a special number uh, which used in main spiritual traditions. 40 days of fasting, 40 days of meditation, of contemplation. And my experience, I would probably relate it to the work of the brain because it takes 30, 40, and in some occasions, 30 days to create new neural pathways. And this way we're doing with in neurographica with the neurons, which is brain cells. Makes sense to use the work of the brain, the function of the brain. So I have my 30 circles. So what direction I turn them, I don't, it doesn't matter for the purpose of this exercise. I draw them in different uh, direction today uh, they always in this one. I like when strengthening them stronger and I would like to connect all of them with the neurographic line now if you do not know what the neurographic line is I will make a very short explanation for the purpose of this exercise it's important to remember that the neurographic line doesn't repeat itself the ways how we draw it in neurographica in neurographic art this meaning that this area and this area are not the same of course if you magnify they will may be the same but for the eye it's an even line it doesn't repeat it has no pattern if it has a pattern it's something else but it's not neurographica or neurographic line right now i would like to connect all my circles with a neurographic line in any, in any direction. I just use my my intuition. Whether you connect all of them, it doesn't matter. I will draw a few lines to make this neurographic drawing. Just connect them with a the line. So I will post the video for a few minutes and draw the lines. You can do the same. As you can probably notice, I also connect my lines. Look, I started from outside. I draw it across the same circles, the lines. This is not a rule. You can draw them in the middle of the circles as well and I just take it outside
We strengthen one circle. As you can see, I also some strengthen some circles. I can make another circle with a wider marker. I circle again and take a line. Let my hand to choose my path. And here, when I'm applying this the line again, I'm trying to create a neurographic line, which is uh, the line that has no pattern. And this drawing, there is no right or wrong. And I take the drawing to make it more comfortable. It feels to add more lines to the circles. And also suggest if you have lines like for example like this sticking out and you feel bothered by them if they irritate you you can just extend this line and connect it to the nearest line and if you feel that you had enough lines and you can always add them i suggest start adding rounding it's one of the main you know, visual elements of neurographica and neurographic line the neurographic art is rounding. So you see the two lines that cross each other. And they create, in the place where they cross, four corners. In this case, the two corners are sharper and more visible. And we draw like a U-shape and connect them. Softening this connection. Also, if your lines cross more like a 90 degree angles, like for example, like this, they create four corners and then you round four. Then make sure that the lines do not stick. Like you, you draw and suddenly you drop your hand. Please do not leave something like this. Make sure that if you, from rounding, you connect it to the line. And if it happens, you can connect it to the nearest line. So if we have something like this sticking, why we do that? That eliminate like visual sharpness for now. And if we use our hand to reduce it, we reduce this appearance of sharpness in our mind as well. Sharpness meaning uncomfortable. And if we are drawing piece, we want the drawing to be as comfortable, easy. To look at as possible. So I have many corners and I'm going to start rounding them. So first of all the corners you see are where the circles cross. So I round all the corners that look sharp. If they're not sharp, if they don't bother me, I will probably will not round them in this in this specific drawing. So I'll just add a small like U shape. That's why I use this wide marker, because it's so easy to draw. Sharp corner. Yeah. I will not use this corner. Sharp yeah. Here's a small line sticking out. And I would like to cross it. The two connected to the nearest line and round. I have many corners. So if I want to round them, they will take me long time so I, I will post the video for uh, a few minutes and I do some work on my rounding you can do the same and we will meet in a few minutes continue rounding so rounding continue Softer making the drawing every corner rounding every corner makes the drawing feel softer and I feel like so relaxed so much more 
I, I felt relaxed. It's not the right word, but uh, uh, something with me as if I'm drawing, changing, softening. Maybe my, uh, I think my heart, my my attitude towards something or somebody. Generally, I'm experiencing very nice and peaceful. So I'm feeling more relaxed and uh, and with every corner. Not really relaxed, but it's something changed in my attitude towards a, not the topic. Topic is not related to this drawing, but I'm feeling experiencing peace. Like I just realized what I I couldn't accept with my attitude. So my attitude towards the topic I couldn't accept is changing the topic subject. And then right now I hear that as if I was talking the uh, birds and uh, seagulls. It's very nice. Just came so close to me as I was telling that. As if a nature was giving me the sign. Yes, yes. I'm very pleased that my attitude towards the suddenly topic it emerged right uh, while I was drawing. I realized what it meant for me. Small lines, I take it outside. So if I feel there's so much energy in this uh, drawing, uh, I can take it outside by the lines. Continue rounding and taking them back like this. I take it here, as much energy, and I take it out. Ex expressing. Here's another corner. Softening and softening. Like if you ask about, is it possible to do too much rounding? No, there's no such things to too much rounding. You draw round the corners as much as you feel you need. Looking where I have to add more rounding. I think I'm ready to apply colors. I have much natural beauty around me, so there's a nice blackberry bushes, and they're coming, blackberries. Very beautiful Japanese uh, raspberry that comes later in the year. And of course, flowers. So here with me, I don't have an, uh, many colors. I just have five colors. Since, and I will see what inspires me. Of course, green, garden, green. A suggestion in a neurographic and neurographic drawing, make sure that you color at least two areas, three better, three areas next to each other, because we use color to unite the drawing. If now we it consists of separate circles, all connected circles right now with neurographic lines. I feel like I got green, more green, beautiful green, as I'm surrounded by this green color. Blue, if it's the sky is blue. You can use any colors that will use your intuition to create your own uh, beautiful garden and feeling. Uh, 
no specific design. I'm just applying colors and using my hand. I, I let my hand to choose what to color. You can rotate the drawing to make it more comfortable for you to color. And by the way, you don't need to color absolutely everything. It's only what you find necessary. A white is also a color and a very important color. So far, I think it's enough color for my garden uh, drawing. Now I will rotate it and see. Done. Yeah, F feels good. Feels good to me. I know this is the main circle, and I would like it to emphasize it with a wider line. Make it as um, what we call it, fixing figure. Something that's important focal point of the drawing it's big and it connects some colors and i round those connections and then the line is thicker. And as the final step of this drawing, I also would like to add the field lines. The field lines are the lines that we align our effort with the nature. I would say you can call it with the nature, with the higher self, with the angels, with the universe, with consciousness, with God. And for me, this drawing, and it feels for me from here to I'm sending them this message and that support from me to in this direction over there it's like a higher for me and I use the existing lines I use my intuition there's no rules you need to use your own feelings I think I will have only two. And from here, outlining. Okay. So now I make them wider and more significant, more visible. So this is my final drawing with a, this focal point, this main circle, and two field lines that I send my message to, I call it to the higher self, to the universe and supporting it on both sides okay well so thank you so much for being with me for drawing with me if you like my content and would like to support me please like my videos comment share and subscribe until next video